When transitioning to paperless back shop, what are a few things a technician needs to know to make a smooth transition? Well, we might as well start out with clocking in first thing in the morning. With your tablet on and the SmartFlow app chosen, you should see a clock in button at the lower center. One tap on the screen is all that's needed to open it up or you can input the hours that you choose for the day. The initial default setting is worked out between the technician and the management and is the number you see in the box when you first open it. In this example, a part-timer has decided to work a few extra hours, so he hits the backspace button, enters a new number, and then presses submit. The technician verifying the hours and setting them appropriately is reflected on the today's vehicle page for the service visor. That's their target for today. So there's some very important things on the screen, like this banner across the center here that has messages from the Auto Vitals team. The top center shows the name of the shop. Right next to it, you'll show the active vehicles ready to be worked on. To the right, vehicle count on the idle screen. Top left is the icon showing how well you're connected to the internet. Right underneath it, you'll find the name of the technician the tablet's assigned to. To the right, you'll see a drop down to select times that you're not working and we'll cover that more in detail. Underneath the TE times you'll see that it's in drag and drop mode and we'll talk more about that also. Tapping on the dual cars will switch you to the idle screen. Tapping on any of the tiles on the idle screen will open it in a view only mode. Here you can make a vehicle active or cancel in return. Press the single car icon to return to the active screen. There's some other things you're going to find really handy like the first time you clocked in in the morning. How many hours you've been on the clock so far today? How many hours the service advisor has approved for you so far today? Along with the total of time you've marked on completed operation. Clocking out at the end of the day or when you're not available should be done here. This status indicator shows you and the service advisor what TE time you've selected. Use the lunch button to notify the service advisor and it will be marked right on the today's vehicle page. Your goal for completed build hours for the week and pace, be it good or bad, is where you'll end up at the week if you continue at the rate you're running. This is only part one of the technician overview and stay tuned, part two will be coming shortly.